What's up guys? Thank you for joining for another episode from me, Skyrender. So right, today I'm gonna talk about a thing that's been kind of bothering me for some time, but I never really like, got around to just talk about it. So that is obviously the topic. Are NU players better than OU players? <laughs> I hate this topic because it's it's not even a fair question to begin with, but let's just talk about why I decided to take this one up. Uh, being that I am a part of Smogon, uh, I do tend to talk about other players that are playing never used, and also being a part of different forums with the same time of grass, being part of just never used or used sometime, but I'm being a part of never used obviously to you know find inspiration, find sets, you know, thinking out of the box while when I can't find anything good to I wanna use. Evil Light Ivor Palm is weird. <laughs> but yeah. Um, being that I am part of that, I usually find the usual topics and they kind of like laddering up and it's very very annoying. And that is that players try to put themselves on, put themselves on a pedestal and say that there are much better players than say players on OU, UU, you know, you go in that way really. Um, never got that, like why? Why would you even have that comparison? While I do agree that a player in OU against an NU should have a higher chance of winning because pokes obviously in OU and that goes for UU too are play are pokes that are more like invested, you know, more they are more focused on what they are supposed to do, doing their job above average, like they are really the best of the best. Take for example Talent Flame. Yeah, usually that OU suspect that everybody hates, and I'll get that for once, actually. Damn Raber priority, um, but yeah, we do get while at work it blocks every grass type pretty much. Um, you know, being only like checked by a pope like Ferrothorn, for example. But yeah, you know, uh, that poke has a very high reliability to you know actually defeat and hold a new team. You know, probably not that easy, but you know, it has. It is so good that it could, you know, it's a wall breaker, pretty much. We shouldn't talk about talent flame. I get in like Vietnam flashbacks here, uh, <laughs> but what I wanted to get that that they are obviously the best of the best. That's why they call OU. So they are. So when an NU player defeats an OU, it usually goes like this: like I'm a better player because I defeated OU pokes. Yeah, they never considered the player itself might be worse. Like they probably Garling is a really really bad player. I mean, I can only see for myself. Like when I have my own team and I go for Passer by Battle and I defeat an OU team. I know when this player is good. He's using a Mega Mewtwo X. Yeah. Or an you know Mega Mewtwo overall. And you know, have split sets. While the poke itself is could work for it, they are obviously not easy spread. Like I will never ever try to um, think of myself as much better player because I defeat a player that I thought using better pokes. I should actually be more glad if I can defeat a player that is as good as me, like when it's down to predictions, because this, you know, seeing good players, and I mean good players like Shady Penguin, Technic for example, he's actually probably my best bet because he's actually got this one down. He's doing mixed here, so obviously it isn't that uh, fairly made, but watch his battle and think about it. He is more about the predictions play instead of which type of pokes he's using, and that is it. An OU player and UU player are actually much better in the metagame. You can disagree with me all you want, but they got the predictions down. They know exactly what to expect against their opponent. So yeah, um, you know if you, if your OU players that you're going up against aren't prepared for Dragon Dance Tropius, whatever, they can still deal with it. It can't do as much. So they are much quicker to adapt than, like I said, like I am an NU player. NU player or NU overall is a much safer ground to play in. That is that you can be creative, but it doesn't make you more skilled as a battler. Because as a battler, you want to be recognized for knowing what your opponent is all about. You want it is pretty much like chess. You want to get the predictions down so you get in a better position all the way. Um, one prediction isn't gonna change the game, but two or three probably gonna make you win. It doesn't work like that in NU. Like I said, it's much safer in NU because of that reason. 
And that's kind of one I want to raise the question because I don't get well, why are you more skilled because you're using folks from NU? It doesn't really work like that, and I can't really stress it enough. And I do believe most of you guys are agreeing with me. Um, I mean, I like playing NU against NU because I think I believe it's more fair. Um, and not only because when I go up against guys like you that are watching me, I know you guys are invested in Pokemon because you are playing never, most of you are playing never used. So if you have a pretty good grasp of what never used is all about, and bringing higher tiers on that is yeah. You are, you are already good, you should consider yourself as good. Take me for example, when I had my UU week, the reason I didn't fare well was because I wanted to do my creative stuff. And it doesn't work like that. Phoenix Master obliterated me uh, in UU for example, uh, because he got the predictions down. He know what's happening, he know which posts that can do what. That is, they are all about one shots, like block, take out. You don't. You don't play like that in in you. You don't. Um, like I said, that's kind of why I think that OU and UU players are better. Sincerely, I mean, just watch my good friend, just me, well, um, or Jack, pretty much. Uh, you get a good idea what I mean. That he is good in OU, UU, but does very well in RU and NU too, and it's because he, as a player has a good grasp on the game, not the pokes. He knows exactly what to expect. And I really do believe that the players make make the tiers. I really do. And um, saying that all your players are worse than any you because they're using higher tier poke, I it's a very unfair argument and you know just plain out stupid really. Um anyway guys Kind of lengthy video, just rambling. Like I said, it was pretty much unscripted here. I'm sorry, but I just want to reach out and talk to you about it. I guess I'm rambling, like I said. But what do you guys think? Am I missing something? Is it something I should um, like elaborate, or is it something that you have been thinking about too that you kind of want to bring into this dialogue? Please just comment. Um, I'll gladly read them. I do believe most of you guys agree with me. That is rather unfair to compare higher tier player against lesser tier players but uh, yeah guys please do please do comment so anyway guys uh, you know as always thank you really for watching and uh, I'll actually upload a battle against Noble Co tomorrow yeah you guys know him he is a beast man this guy is tough, tough to battle uh, so yeah anyway guys thank you as always for watching and have a good day alright guys bye